So we're still working on pulling the, the body shape into the dog. We still have all this to work on. So the, and another important aspect of shortening the dog up is their hocks. So I like to do my hocks on the edge of a table. And then use a longer thinning shear. Now you don't want to, you want the, the hawk still to appear low, but they don't, want, they don't want them to look messy. So you make your initial line, cleaning up the sides. I like to use the table because then I can go below it and still see what I'm doing. So I get that look. I I want to watch this part too. So I like to take the stone again and just pull that into the top of the hawk itself. And while I'm here, I might as well start my underline, at least on the back end here. So because we have this look here, which is a nice smooth look right into the hawk. You'll be forever just tidying things up. So then you want to again bring him you want to bring him off the ground to, to raise him up which will eventually shorten his back because if it, the, the more hair that comes to the ground the lower he looks to the ground so by raising his furnishings up you will actually make him appear higher station thus shorter back so again i'm gonna change this part of the dog's trim starting back here we just start tidying blending And then you've got to choose where you want to start your line. I like to start it about halfway up the dog's hog with a dog shaped like this. So that we're going to raise up this part of the dog. I'm sorry. And with your eye, just stay sun. Bring this up into the dog's loin. This is just my initial cut because I'm gonna have to tidy it up. But I wanted to get the line in while I'm down here with my eye. So it's, it's still a, a straight line going down into the foot, but it's not, you still have shape here and the line here. Now I switch to the, the less bulky thinning shears. Just to tidy up the line. Now before I show him or before he's shown, this is going to be blown straight. Again, so again, you're going to see some things that you've missed and tidy them up. But I'm giving you the general idea of where I want the, the hair to stop. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon.